guys. So um, we're going to do a little project. We're going to build our own aqueduct. Um, when Augustus Caesar was emperor, we know that that was the beginning of the Pax Romana, that 200-year time period of peace and prosperity. And when Caesar was not the emperor during that whole time, he was just the first emperor. So um, the city had been destroyed from all that civil war after Julius Caesar had been killed. There was civil war. And remember, he was killed back in 40 B.C., and here we are, Augustus is emperor in 27 BC, just becoming emperor. So a good 20 years have gone by, which have done a lot of destruction. So Augustus rebuilds the Roman Empire, continues to expand it, rebuilds the city of Rome, and one of the things, uh, one of the famous Roman structures are aqueducts. They're used to carry water for miles and miles. So we're going to make one out of a cereal box, a paper, towel tube, um, some tin foil. And I have a stapler, scissors, and I just have a black marker. So um, you're going to cut the top off of your cereal box, the little flaps. This one side done. And here's the other side. Oops. So I cut the ends off from both ends. You can see the flaps are gone. And then I'm just going to um, cut one of the long sides off. turn my cereal box inside out so it looks more um, you know like a brick color instead of just colorful cereal box color so um, what you're going to do now is make the arches in the aqueduct because they didn't want these to block areas where people were walking they wanted people to be able to, to continue to travel on the roads throughout Rome so there would be these huge arches so I'm actually going to flip this one over and make this part my bottom. Now I've done it both ways. You can see this one. I um, just cut it right out and left this open part at the bottom. And then my channel, my, my paper towel tube um, that carries the water, I just stapled it to the flat top. Um, but I'm going to do it the other way this time, just to see how it turns out. So first I'm going to sketch out the arches. So again, I've got my flat bottom here. And I'm just going to freehand it a bit. You can use pencil. Um, it's kind of hard to cut through the cardboard. So what I do is I usually put it on the carpet and stab my scissors through. So you may want to ask an adult for help doing that. I just stab my scissors through. And then cut it to the top, and then I just cut the arch out from this side. And I cut the arch out all the way. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Stab it in. edges too skinny. I've kind of made mine a little bit thin. I'm a little bit worried about it that it won't be strong enough to support. Hopefully it'll be okay. We're talking about these areas right here. Make sure you're not making them really skinny on the sides or in the middle because then it'll be too floppy and it won't stand up. But now I have to cut it out in the back behind it as well. So I'm just going to um, trace the hmm. 
Yeah, I'm just going to hold it together and trace the shape. And I'm going to cut those out next. Let me pause this. Oh, I'll leave it. You want them to be the same as the ones in the front. You know, they should line up correctly. So then I cut my paper towel tube in half, and I'm going to put it on the top up here. And I'm just going to staple it. on first if you wanted. That's what I did on my other one. But on this one I wanted to try putting it on second because I'm hoping that it'll cover up any holes made by the staples so, the, so that doesn't leak when I pour the water. So here it is. So then I'm going to decorate it to make it look like bricks. See how I did on this one? One side I tried it that way. The other side I just do straight lines. Um, I've seen kids, instead of using rectangle bricks, like make them look more like uh, stones. So be creative. Take your foil. And a big. I think I'm going to fold it in half. And I'm just going to line it. Of course, the Romans didn't have foil. We have to do this since we're using cardboard cereal boxes. Because, yes, yeah, we're really going to pour water in here. the top a little bit so the water would flow down okay because these aqueducts they would have long channels they would continue on for miles and miles and miles to bring water to the city so I probably should have uh, angled it down slightly in order for the water to flow but we'll see what happens 